Okay, so this video is way, way overdue. Um, but yeah, I got sent some stuff by the one and only Papatachi, so let's go see what I got sent. What's up, YouTube? Griever here, and yes, I got sent by mail uh this package from the one the only papatachi uh papatachi is a fellow nerfer as well as a youtuber link for his channel will be down in the description below uh this is going to be kind of a quick video or at least quick for me so let's just go to the workbench and see what he sent me okay so fun fact um this is the stuff that pop sent me and this is the note that says read me first um this is kind of a redo because I'm an idiot, or not really an idiot, but uh, I had to re-record because I had file issues. So, reading the letter, it says, Hey James, before you get all excited at the boxes, reuse them to pack up the items for you. Which is why there are worker boxes here. The short box had, some, had the foam and some pre-made darts. I found the darts were hard to straighten and not all have yet. I tried picking the straightest ones I could find and I found they were okay and worked in my 3K and 2K with PETG barrels. The other box has some printed stuff. Hope you enjoy uh, a dart cutting jig and a long shot quick release trigger. Uh, there's a cutting template in there as well. Short side points towards the front of the blaster. Anyway, hope the family's doing well. Papa Tachi. So thank you again, Pop, for sending me all this stuff. So little, I hate to say the word, but history lesson. For those of you who are not familiar with who Papatachi is, uh, he is a old school Nerf modder, uh, kind of in my vein, but way, way better than anything I've ever produced. Uh, I'm going to link his channel down below, and also I'll put it up in the corner here go check out his stuff uh he was out of the game for quite some time he's slowly starting to get back into it and go show him some love um definitely check out his back catalog a lot of cool stuff there so the 3d printed stuff he sent me is this quick release uh mag trigger for the long shot which i've never really modded a long shot too much so that's going to be a nice summer project to add to the list uh, the little cutting jig that he sent as well, so now I know where to cut. And he also sent this dart jig, which is really nice, and I did actually get a chance to use it before. It holds five darts at a time, and here I have some nice Adventure Force waffle tip darts. And with any straight razor, obviously, always be careful with it. You can do either short darts or the standard short dart and just slide the razor in there drag across you have some foam blanks more importantly you now have waffle tip short darts so it's going to be fun just being able to cut down darts properly now so I haven't done that in a long time, but it's going to be nice backup for if I ever happen to run out of my Adventure Force darts. Uh, the Pro darts, I mean. But getting to this foam that he had mentioned in the letter, uh, me and him were talking back when, back around January or so uh, when he originally sent this stuff. I'm really sorry it took me so long to do this video. But we, he was getting back into the game. Uh, wanted to see if there's still any viability for a homemade dart. So he went on McMaster Car and actually found this foam, and I will also have a link to that down in the description below. And it's a half-inch foam backer rod uh, with a hole in it, so it does work like a normal dart. And it's got this, like, rubbery coating on the outside of it, but it's also... I don't know how well you can see it on camera, but I mean, it's solid there. It's not a spongy foam like 
the normal foam back rod used in homemade darts. Like, this is solid, like, practically dart foam. So, it did work itself really nicely. Um, he'd sent, the two darts that he had sent were these, which are some uh, silicone tip darts or silly tip darts. And I actually went ahead and made a couple of my own since I knew they were coming. I decided to do a few, uh, save the decapitated fallen and all that stuff. So I have to make one with a Jet Cita dart tip. And I have three here that are made with Gen 3 heads and here with Gen 2 head uh, worker dart heads. Now, these are just held together with hot glue because that's how I always made my darts. So I'm going to do a quick firing uh, with these out of my Nexus Pro because I, in the previously lost footage, uh, I actually chronoed that thing at hitting about 200 on average. And I'm not going to re-chrono these. I'm actually going to just do the firing and just so you can see them actually working. But I will put in the numbers of what I was actually able to chrono these things at. Because my, my thing's having issues. I got to look for a new one. So if anyone has any suggestions for a replacement for my Saturnist, uh, please definitely leave a comment down below because I'm definitely in the market for a new chronograph. So give me a minute. I'm going to go grab my Nexus off the wall and I shall be back in a moment. Okay, so I have my Nexus here, and I should have actually moved these over so I have something to actually fire into. So my dart catcher, and here I have the darts themselves, and I'm going to do the worker dart, the worker Gen 2s, worker Gen 3s. I thought I had another one of those. Uh, the Silly Tips, and the Jet Cita. And, I mean, I got to say, first and foremost, these all feed in my Talon Mag, no problem, not getting hung up. So, this is the Jet Cita Tip, Silly Tip. All have fired so far. Now the worker Gen 3s, those will be two, and then the Gen 2s, which is also two. Okay, so that last one flew out, and I have to say, all the Darts actually look like they held up, so. Yep, all the darts actually survived. Um, no blowouts on any of them. Uh, maybe if you pull them hard enough, they will pop out, but yeah, they all survived. So uh, I'm just going to go back to my, oh, I'm going to put the numbers up here so you know what they had hit at in the previously actually recorded video. And that's where I'm going to kind of end it at this part. So we're going to go back to the normal view because I just feel awkward ending a video in this position. So, yeah. Okay, so yeah, that's going to be it for this video. Uh, again, thank you, Pop, for sending me all this stuff. Um, the foam does work as a good alternative if you have a lot of decapitated dart heads lying around to kind of, I guess, give them a second life or something. Uh, I mean, it doesn't work as good as a manufactured dart, but it's not a bad alternative. Um, also, the 3D prints are really awesome. The dart jig works wonderfully, and now I have to go figure out a, or find a long shot to go start working on that. So, but again, thank you very much for sending me this stuff. So that's going to be it for this video. And as always, if you enjoyed the content we put here on the channel, please throw us a like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below. Go check out Papadachi. He's back in the game. 
sort of getting back in the game but yeah go check him out he has a lot of stuff in his back catalog that a lot that would interest a lot of people especially uh those new to the hobby to see what can be done with some stuff and ooh, don't forget to click that little bell icon otherwise you may not know when me and arlene are doing a silliness here on the channel so again thank you all very much for watching i'll see you guys next time later